Hello, in this video we are going to add a PC Raster dynamic model to the processing toolbox. And we will use the interface of QGIS to configure the layers that are needed in the model and to configure the amount of time steps. We will use the demo data that can be downloaded from the PC Raster website. You find it in the software menu, download demo data, and choose there the data set for your operating system. Then go to QGIS and open a Python console and also add the editor. In the editor we are going to load the runoff.py dynamic model from PC Raster, which uses the PC Raster dynamic modeling framework. So let's have a closer look at this uh, runoff model. It's a dynamic model in the PC Raster dynamic framework, which initializes with a clone map, and then in the initial uh, method you find there uh, that the rain zones are defined and the infiltration capacity is linked to the soil map with a lookup table, that the LDD map is derived from the DEM, and that there are some uh, calculations done in the dynamic section to derive the uh, runoff. Now if we run this model, it will give an error. That's because this uh, script is run from a working directory which is not the same as uh, the directory where the input files are stored, so the error is that it cannot open the mask.map file because it can't find it. So we can uh, give an instruction to go to another uh, directory, and therefore we need to import the OS package. Then with OS uh, change there, we can change to the directory we need to define it as a string. And it's also not working because the slashes are escape characters. So you either have to do them to the other side, forward slashes, or double backslash. And then there's the command os.get current working directory, which gives where we are. And there we see it uses the double slashes, double backslash, um, to escape one of the backslashes. And it prints now these uh, dots for each time step, which means the model has run and we can find the outputs in uh, the working directory. So let's open a terminal by clicking right on the folder and choose open in terminal. And then we can see that it produced these uh, result uh, rasters. And then we can also visualize it using uh, the Agila tool, which comes with PC raster. And because it's dynamic, I can use time steps 1 to 28, and I want to see the log runoff. And there we see it, and we can uh, animate it. Now it would be really nice if a user could uh, run this from the QGIS interface and uh, define all the inputs and outputs through a graphical user interface. So that's what we are going to make now. Let's first uh, delete the outputs. Now in this model, all the inputs and outputs are hard-coded with strings and we need to replace them with variables. Because these variables will be passed from the processing script. So it reads here ratestop.map and I can make this variable. It needs to have a global variable, therefore I use self dot. And let's call it rain stations. And it needs to be added to the init arguments without self, and then we make here a list of variables with self. So we declare here self.rainstations equals rainstations. And we're going to do that for all the other uh, variables and add them to the uh, init uh, method as arguments so we can pass that on from the QGIS uh, script. going to write uh, the time series of the runoff at the uh, location, so I'm going to comment this out.
I also comment out line 55 because we are not writing uh, this data at the sample locations. And I've also uh, comment out some report statements. And I removed the last lines because they are going to the uh, PyQGIS script that we're going to make now. So I save this model and uh, it's now ready to be imported in uh, the PyQGIS uh, processing script. So let's uh, install the PC Raster Tools plugin. And it's also good to uh, use an existing example, which we can get from the resource sharing plugin. There are existing scripts that we can uh, use and modify. Let's go to the settings of the QGIS resource sharing plugin and add PC Raster repository. I'll also add it in the description of this video. And don't forget to add .git. Here we see the collections being added. And we're going to add now the user script collection as examples. And then in the processing toolbox under scripts, PC raster user scripts, you can find uh, these nine scripts. Let's edit the burn lab script. To make it easy at this point, I import uh, all the PC raster functions. And for the framework, we also need to import the PC raster framework. And we need to import our runoff model. And we can import that because it's already open here in the console, so it will be recognized. Now I need this line to uh, import console because um, the model will print those or try to print those dots for each time step. But that will uh, cause problems and uh, by inserting something later from the console package we can uh, prevent that it hangs. We need to add a few more uh, this processing parameter uh, functions here. Then we can change the class name to the name of the algorithm. Let's call it runoff model. Let's modify this so it shows all the uh, inputs and outputs that we use. We have input clone. That's the first input. instance we need to return the same uh, name there, runoff model. And here a uh, name to identify it, so call it runoff model, it can only be lowercase. And this is the name uh, that the user will see. And we add it to a new group, which we call Visarasset Dynamic Models. And that group also needs an ID. Let's call it PC Raster Dynamic. Here's the help string, we'll change that later. And here we need to modify uh, the user interface. So what kind of widget and uh, the text that the user sees. We remove what we don't need. So the first one is the clone. can do this in a similar way for the other raster layers. For the rainfall time series file we need another uh, function here, the parameter file. And we copy and adjust that for other files that are in the input. And the first and last time step are numbers. Let's 
let's remove now what we don't need. Before the uh, output map stacks, we will use parameter file destination. Now we need to store the inputs from the user interface as uh, raster layers, strings, integers in uh, new variables. And finally, we create uh, new variables to store the uh, paths that we will use. And then we can uh, copy those lines that we uh, saved for this moment to run the model. Clone map to a variable, which has the path. And we're going to add the other variables that have to uh, be substituted in the runoff script to um, the runoff model. So we need to use here the uh, console um, package because DC raster is expecting to print the dots to the console but there is no console in uh, QGIS so with this that is solved. And now we can uh, visualize the results with uh, Aguila. Define a string with the command. And we add placeholders for the variables. So that will be first step, last step, and then um, the variables that we want to see. So that's the precipitation and discharge. And here with dot format outside of the string, we can then identify what goes into these placeholders. And 
it's useful for the user to uh, see the command, so it can always be uh, copied to a terminal to run the same command to visualize the result. And there we use uh, feedback push info. The problem is that it will open a terminal window uh, quite large on the screen and it's better to uh, create no window and therefore we use this uh, few lines. And we can copy and modify that also to create the 3D view. Because the results are not loaded in the QGIS uh, map stack, we keep the results uh, empty. So I'm going to remove line 260. And then the script is ready to save, and we save it in our uh, profile uh, scripts folder. So now we can uh, run the model by clicking the play button. And there we see uh, the widgets, but we also see that we still need to update the help string. So I quickly pasted some prepared text uh, there, and I uh, save it. And if I run it again, I see the updated help string, and it even includes uh, URLs to the official documentation of PC Raster and Agila. Now let's uh, try it for real. So we need some uh, data for the model. So load the DEM. You can see that uh, it does not recognize any uh, coordinate reference system, but that's also because PC Raster doesn't uh, deal with it, so it doesn't matter for our model. And then I find uh, the model in the processing toolbox and I set the uh, inputs in the dialog. For the output uh, map stacks, I need to uh, define the folder and the uh, output file name, but uh, it's not a standard uh, file name because these map stacks of PC Raster, they uh, have the file extension 001, 002, etc. for the amount of time steps, and that will be automatically added. I'm just creating here a dummy file name. And then I replace it with um, the first characters of the time series. And I copy this also to get the runoff map stack. So before the dot, it will fill it up with zeros until uh, eight characters before the dot. We see that there's still um, an error. So let's debug it uh, further. Can edit the script and there we see that the data provider has to be in capitals. Let's run it again. And there's still one more error, which is in fact an important error. It cannot uh, find the runoff model. So let's go back. And we did not use the runoff model uh, class yet that we imported, and that needs to be put there. So it should read runoff dot runoff model with all the arguments. And there's a uh, the result when we run it, it automatically opens the viewers. We can animate the results. We can click on a pixel and when we click right on the legend, we can see the time series. And uh, the windows are connected, so we can see also here the precipitation time series and compare precipitation with the discharge. We see that they are related. And when we exit those windows, we also see the 3D window. And uh, after uh, closing the windows, it shows you the commands that you can simply copy to a terminal to uh, visualize the results in the same way. 
So in this video you've learned how to create a processing tool for an existing PC raster model. But I invite you to uh, share your model here in this uh, resource sharing repository for PC raster. And you can share the script for QGIS and the model. You need to share them both. Um, and here is also uploaded uh, the script that I've used. So with the resource sharing plugin uh, you will then get the Renov model script that you can use in the processing toolbox, but the runoff.py script, uh, that's what you need to open in the Python console of QGIS before you can use the PyQGIS script from the processing toolbox.